Hey everyone, it's Katie, and this week we are discussing love triangles, and one in particular, one that I have a very strong opinion on. So we're kicking off the start of Teams Month with the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare, um, better known as Team Jim or Team Will. <laughs> um, I am going to warn you guys that there's going to be a lot of giggling and cracking jokes in this video because whenever I talk about love triangles, that's just what happens. I'm not a fan of them, but I do love um, the ones that we have chosen for this month, so I'm going to force myself to um, kind of try and seriously explain why I like the guys that I like. So let's start with me saying I am Team Jim. Now I will admit I'm like only 99.9% .9 Team Jim because Will always does something that makes me go, oh, I like you. But then Jim does the thing where I'm like, oh, I want you. So, you know, if he didn't end up with Tessa, I'd be okay with that because I would totally reach into those books and grab him and steal him for myself because he's awesome. So, like I said, Will always does something that makes me like him, but he doesn't do it enough. Jim, on the other hand, is the perpetual good guy. He is so nice, so sweet, so romantic, so funny so freaking perfect. He and Tessa together are like the cutest thing I've ever seen. There are times when I just want to sit there and be like, oh, why can't I have that? And then there are times where I'm like, holy crap, you guys are steaming this up. There are some very sexy scenes in the Infernal Devices books. It's Cassandra Clare. You guys knew that was coming. But I mean, Jim and Tessa, they have this chemistry between them. They just go together. It's like peanut butter and jelly or, um, oh, apples and peanut butter. I like peanut butter, can you tell? Yeah, they just go together. It's like inevitable that they're gonna end up together. Because what I think I love the most about Jim and Tessa is that they are a lasting couple. They are not a couple where you're gonna finish the book, you're gonna close it, and you're gonna think, well, how long is that relationship gonna last now that the book's over? That's not what I think, that's not really what I think with any Cassandra Clare romances um she has this quality where it just makes you believe that this is an everlasting love yes i said it i think jim and tessa have that everlasting love now it may not actually be everlasting because you know jim has some issues and so does tessa and so does will for that matter pretty much any of them could die any day so that everlasting may only be a week or so, but in my opinion, when I close the book, I don't stop thinking about them together. I don't think, okay, so in a week, she's gonna be with a new guy. That's not how it is with these characters. She, she weighs the good and bad, and she thinks about kind of how she is with those people and how they are with her. Now, Will is that kind of bad boy. He's got this mysterious past, and he's kind of got an asshole attitude. Like, I'm going to treat you like crap, and you're just going to love me anyway. And so that's my biggest issue with Will. Jim, on the other hand, is like, I'm going to treat you like a princess, and I'm going to hope you love me, even though I don't deserve your love. Sometimes he's a little too, um, I don't know, he thinks he's undeserving, and I don't. And sometimes he just takes that a little too far, but that is my only complaint about Jim. Jim is like my perfect guy and I want him so bad so that's why I'm team Jim that's my final conclusion I want him so you guys should all love him too <laughs> so um, I don't know how well I did explaining why I love Jim but that is the reasoning that goes on in my head so I would love it if you're a team Jim fan like this video so we can see how many team Jim people are out there now if you're a team will fan don't dislike this video that's not nice <laughs> but I would love it if you are a team will fan to comment below and kind of explain why because you know I've kind of explained why I don't like him and next week I will be back and insane once again talking about a different love triangle woohoo um now make sure to watch tomorrow and Saturday to see um what Audrey and Gabrielle um, what they think, what team they're on. And like I said, let me know what team you're on. I hope you have, guys have a great weekend.